Was giving Qatar the World Cup like going back to the Middle Ages? One journalist certainly thinks so. Rarely have I listened to an interview where I felt like standing up and applauding and I think you know, Darty is absolutely right. They didn't just give the World Cup to the Middle East, they gave the World Cup to the Middle Ages when they gave it to Qatar. Qatar is a disgraceful slave nation. I refuse to have anything to do with this tournament. And as we're hurtling ever closer to it, I think more people are really realising this. I don't blame the players for going. It's a World Cup. You know, how, how, how often will most players get to play in a World Cup? You can't blame them. I don't blame the journalists for going over. You have to cover the story. What I do blame, though, is these monstrous hypocrites like David Beckham and Gary, Gary Neville in particular. I mean, Beckham is basically just a, a marketing machine made yes. flesh. I think only 10% of us. Are- you know, to go back to Beckham for a second, if you look at, I'll, I'll continue, but if you look at his past endorsements, it's really not that big of a surprise. Or 9% of us live in a true democracy. If we started excluding every nation based on their morality, there'd be very few places where you could ever play a World Cup. Well, you have to make your stand at some point. I mean, there have been recent reports of Western women who've been raped in Qatar who have done the right thing by going to the police to obviously report their assault. And then they've been arrested for having sex outside marriage. This is the level of what we're dealing with. Rarely have I listened to an interview where I felt like Look, standing man, up and applauding how, and I think, you know, Darty is... A- how is he wrong? News Talk picked up on it because it was such a glaring example. I love the World Cup. I love the World Cup more than anything else. It is always the highlight of the four-year period for me, said Ian O'Doherty. O'Doherty, the journalist, who has a great voice, by the way. FIFA, they didn't just give the World Cup to the Middle East. They gave the World Cup to the Middle Ages when they gave it to Qatar. Qatar is a disgraceful slave nation. What he means by that, in case you have been truly living under a rock, is they use something called the kafala system, where they would have migrant workers from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, what have you, and they would make them pay fees in order to go work but were promised higher fees in return. You were assigned a guardianship, essentially, where they revoked your passport so you couldn't leave. You had to do the work. You lived with eight to 10 other people in your room. The beds were never cleaned. They were bunk beds. There was sewage coming out of the toilets. They did not, what appears, at least to me, to have any clean water. They bathed right next to sewage. There were bugs in the bed. There were bugs and maggots all over the food. Tens of thousands of workers are living in squalid, slave-like conditions. Dozens being worked to death every month. When I was asked to go to the country myself, to be honest, I wasn't sure what else I could add to the story. But not long after I landed, I found myself shocked at the extent of the suffering. What is happening in Qatar remains an untold story. These are horrible conditions. And on top of that, as of February 2021, which is an undercount now via The Guardian, 6,500 migrant workers passed away building the literal 